All right, let's get started with the interview. I am, I am very pleased to be having an exclusive interview with the hero of Grishino, the leader of the collective. Uh, would you please? Well, we don't have leaders exactly. Well, there you go. There you go. Please uh, in introduce yourself, and uh, you can let me know exactly uh, what the collective is and how you guys are run. Uh, I mean, we're the communists, or we're the good guys. We're basically uh, a communist Walmart, you gotta put it like that. Um, it all started off with one of my buddies, he had a little uh, dog here in the wasteland. And uh, I tell you, that dog passed away one day, and he was pretty upset about it. We were down on our luck and needed to do something else and change. So we decided, you know what? We're gonna make everyone have as good of a time as possible. We're gonna help everybody out that we can. We're gonna work together collectively common goal. Gotcha. And you've definitely worked towards that. I can, I can tell you guys uh, don't uh, like ranks and such, but they, they do ste seem to follow you. Uh, what is what is your name for, for the interviews or for the record? And uh, how did you oh, get yeah. into this position? Uh, you know, I, I'm Marion. I guess I'm part if you wanted to break us down into some sort of power structure, there's a group of four. I guess it calls like the, I don't know, the committee, if you want to go like that. I'm Marion the Diplomat. Uh, the man to my left is uh, Peter the Commander. Then there's uh, Henderson, the Conscript, and Chase the Rascal. And the four of us being in a council. Chase the Rascal, where does that name come from? Oh, he's just a damn rascal. Just a damn rascal. Send him, send him out to cause problems, huh? Cause havoc. <laughs> or, or he causes enough problems for us. Yeah, no need to send them out. Gotcha. No. God no. So, getting back to what you were saying before, uh, trying to bring people together in the, with the uh, the umbrella of the communist society. Uh, what is again? What is your ultimate goal with uh, with building? building this society here in Virginia. Well, you know, uh, like any great communist society, we operate by the mantra, you know, from each according to his ability, to each according to his need. So, we try to be a not uh, selfish or greedy fashion. We try to give back to the community as much as possible. And we like to see everybody achieve kind of a common standard of living. We can somehow achieve that. Sounds great. Like every communist, communist society has always sounded sounded great you you wonder why anybody would would go against it and uh but it's you know I've, I've heard and we can touch on this as our next subject is you uh you tend to have gotten some some pushback with uh, your society um probably to your own surprise with that kind of mantra but tell me a little bit about uh how how this uh, society has fared and how the Chernaris Ch community has pushed back against it. Well, what I can tell you, Coca, is that when there's any great revolution, there's always reactionary forces, okay? Always a capitalist, a fascist, some greedy invader of the night seeks to sink his teeth into the lifeblood of the people and draw out his blood like a vampire. Those vampires we face today are known as Fiend and his gang of fiends. Gang the green arm band bandits, I guess as you would call them. Dastardly individuals. Gotcha. Sounds like a uh, uh, very specific group that you're, you're pointing out there. How long have you been dealing with these green arm band bandits led by Fiend? I think the last week they really intensified their attacks. It all started in a, a battle for Cherno, uh, Chernogorsk. They decided to attack back a homeless shelter down there. One of our allies, the independent faction, the Turners, Nutsi. Uh, she was brutally attacked by a gang of, I believe, five armed men. Um, and we, in the Order of the Stag, and Nutsi's forces fought them off in a pretty bloody battle down there. I think it was about six casualties for us, four casualties for them the first time. Gotcha. And, uh, the second battle, it was in Tizzy, just happened to catch him up there. And in that battle, the 
killed three, lost one. So it sounds like and most recently. Sounds like you you reach out beyond the borders of Grishino with this with this mantra of the the communist society. How does that play with the rest of Chinaris? Do they appreciate you uh, trying to spread the the good communist word beyond Grishino? I think I think honestly a lot of them do. Yeah, we have a lot of friends and a lot of allies. Uh, we're known as reputable traders and people that can get things done. Uh, if you're our ally, we have your back. We help you out. I mean, for instance, when uh, when Nietzsche's Ford Falcon was stolen, we immediately just purchased it back and returned it to it for uh, out of the kindness of our hearts, no charge, obviously. Gotcha. We try to watch out for people. I mean, in this community itself, I think we have, we just had three new people move in today over by the, uh, the barn over there. Nice. That brings us up to, I think, at least 10, maybe 12 residents. That's not including people in the collective. Okay. It's pretty successful to have a, a, a lot of people come to Grishino and they're really trying to work toward this common goal. That's that's what allows us to have this kind of wealth in our shop and to continue to trade and have a good economy here. How many people do you have in the collective altogether? Altogether, I think it's about 14 of us. Oh, okay. And all uh, a pretty active, pretty active uh, group? Probably about half. Uh, a lot of them like to sleep a lot. I can appreciate a good sleep. I can appreciate a good sleep. Yeah, right. Um, Anybody can, in these times. So other than Fiend and his green armband, um, anybody else that you get a lot of pushback from? Well, you know, we only had one seriously large negative interaction besides, you know, Fiend and, and his fascist invaders. Uh, that would be Dr. Jesus, that uh, absolute menace. See, Dr. Jesus originally... Uh, Came known, he was the medical director of the ISC. We put him in that position actually. We thought he was a hell of a good doctor. And I think we gave him conservatively probably, I don't know, $50,000 and 50,000 caps and subsidies and you know, helping him build out his place and helping him get med supplies. We were pretty shocked to discover that he and Panda, the leader of the former leader, I should say, of the little clan that ran the bar working in cahoots to basically run a band under, under, under our noses and uh, we do want to apologize for anyone that was harmed by pandas or Dr. Jesus' actions. We really didn't see that one coming. Would you say, yes, a, would you say that the, the mantra of the, the communist uh, society uh, failed you at that point? That it was a, a failure of trust with, uh, with panda? You know, I think communism never fails you. You fail it. Oh, that's you know interesting. If we stuck to our ideology and they had stuck to our ideology, all would have continued in peace and harmony, but they decided to uh, become greedy capitalist dogs. And in such a fashion, they had to be run out of town like rabid dogs. Has that, has that changed how you uh, do business and bring people in at all? Has it changed your, um, your process of bringing people into the fold? Yeah, you would think it would, but uh, we still have open arms here in Gachino. Like I say, we just had three new people moving today. Gotcha. We're willing to give anybody a shot, but when you burn us, our relationship is burned. And to, to that point, that's a great segue. Uh, the, the burning, you've been, uh, you know, we've been reported in our, our latest issue in the Nosy Newsy that you guys are chasing down Dr. Jesus and Panda uh, as far as all the way up towards tizzy that uh, that uh, we've seen panda and jesus headed that direction and uh, you guys are chasing them down is that correct uh, i don't i don't want to discuss any ongoing uh, conflicts or i don't want to endanger any positions where collective op operators may be acting but uh, yeah i will confirm that panda's man is and uh, dr jesus that them seem to have relocated to the northern section i'm sure there's as opposed to the south of the original relocated so it sounds like it's only a matter of time before we might uh, we might hear about a, a conflict between the two of you. I'll be sure to uh, uh, stay up to date. Yeah, you can say the clock's ticking. Sounds good, sounds good. So I always like to ask people that I interview, um, this is your open forum to send out uh, a message, uh, your truth to the public, for the public to hear. If you had one message that you wanted 
everybody to hear from your mouth, what would it be? Fight back. Fight the back. That's all I have to say. Fight back. If they stop you at a roadblock, get out of your car and kill every son of a bitch at that roadblock. Fight back. Don't let them push you around. Not once, not twice, not ever. If you need backup, call us and we'll be there. We support the people of Churners. We support the little guy. I'm tired of seeing an innocent man, ATV rider, Ada rider, some guy just trying to get his brakes, hunting, just gets his first car, and some piece of shit stops him, takes everything he owns. How horrible. Steal his car. I mean, how horrible. You know, it really, uh, it's heartbreaking to hear about these things happening in Churners. And I wish we could be everywhere at once, but sadly we just can't be. That's why we have to chase and play the game and everything else. But uh, we will find, you know, Dr. Jesus to start off with. You know, we got to finish one candy bar kind of thing. You would and say, once he's done with, uh, you would say that uh, your services, people could reach out to you, and your services are free. There's, uh, there's no charge or, or uh, need for people to feel like they have to give you things in order for your protection. That your, uh, your services and uh, your guardians are are uh, free to to the public. We're just people, plain and simple. Yeah, we take no tax. No collective member has any money in a personal bank account whatsoever. It's all pooled in the collective fund. Gotcha. Well, I appreciate your time. I'll be sure to, to write up your message, your messaging, in our next article, and I wish you all the best of luck in your hunt for for the fiend and for Dr. Jesus and Panda, you've got your hands full. Yeah, I've quite a few little band of leaders popping up, but you know, they burn hot and fizzle out. That's the way it is with these kind of people. Collective will be a constant for a long time to come, so feel free to come trade. We're reputable traders, we got a lot of stock and options, we're willing to buy quite a bit. Awesome. Do you happen to have any more room in your town for, for more people? Yeah, yeah, we can always make more room. North of town, there's openings. Uh, south of town, and you know, we always build freestanding structures and any place, places not claimed around here. We also, you know, today we had two people arrive at about the same time, and you know what, they ended up grouping up together, along with a third guy, and those three are still based on cooperatively. I think we gave them about 15,000 caps to get started, along with a couple of sledgehammers, shovels, and some nails, so we try to spread the wealth. I mean, anybody will tell you, from a Chino, that we're pretty liberal as well. I mean, we just did uh, tax returns today, we gave everybody about 10,000 caps. And, what the fuck? I didn't get no tax return. <laughs> <laughs> is that you? Is that Ken? Yeah, yeah. Is that Ken? It's your tax return time. It's just like that, that is, dude. Yeah.